Welcome to HATV. I'm Scott Laird. Well, summertime is right around the corner and the pool is calling your name. But a day at the pool can cause some problems for your immune system if you don't plan ahead. The first thing my family and I do before we come to the pool is have our Barley Max because Barley Max protects your immune system against the chemicals in the pool. But an outdoor pool is better than an indoor pool for a couple of reasons, even if they both use chlorine as a disinfectant, which can be a minor hassle for some and a major problem for others. First of all, outdoor pools have the advantage of being outside, where the sun is shining down and UV radiation is acting as a secondary filtration system for the water. So potentially, outdoor pools need less chlorine than indoor pools. Secondly, an outdoor pool is better because the chlorine gas coming off the water has somewhere to go. At an indoor pool, there's a potential of chlorine gas buildup, which requires a complicated ventilation system. And in fact, some research is showing that people who have health problems are getting them from being at an indoor pool where there's a lot of chlorine with nowhere to go. Now, when most people come to the pool, the first thing they do is put on the sunscreen. My family and I don't do that because we understand that sunscreen blocks 95% of vitamin D production. What we do first is get into the sun without the sunscreen for a good 15 to 20 minutes or until our skin starts turning the first shade of pink. You may have to get into the shade or into a building to properly see that. At that point, it's time to put on some clothing or get in the shade or put on a hat if you have to be out longer. It's even a time to put on some healthy sunscreen What's healthy sunscreen? Well, of course, it's the kind with no chemicals in it, and usually it's the kind that leaves a whitish film on your skin. That's a good thing. The fact that it doesn't soak in means that the molecular particle size of the sunscreen is too big to fit into your cells, which act like a sieve. Because if sunscreen can penetrate your cells, it can be a delivery mechanism for harmful chemicals that can alter your DNA. For a list of healthy sunscreens, the Environmental Working Group has made a list for 2012. You can go to Google and type in EWG sunscreens and you'll find it. There are also some foods that can act as an internal sunscreen. Berries are great because they have loads of antioxidants. Broccoli neutralizes DNA damage with a compound called sulforaphane. Tomatoes and watermelon do the same kind of thing with a compound called lycopene. How do you know when your day at the pool is done? Leave before you get sunburned. That's according to Dr. Mark Sorensen. He wrote a very enlightening book about sun exposure called Solar Power and Vitamin D for Optimal Health. In fact, Dr. Sorensen says having a tan is your best defense against melanoma. He says working indoors and then overdoing sun exposure on the weekends is the real cause of melanoma. The truth is that being in the sun for a few minutes every day will actually help protect you against melanoma. Oh, and one more thing. When you go home, don't shower right away. Your body needs about 24 hours to take the sunlight, absorb it into the cholesterol in your skin in order to convert it to vitamin D. Now you can shower covered areas, but be sure to leave the sun exposed areas alone for a good day or so. For HATV, I'm Scott Laird.